When I think of a creative in construction, I think um, a builder, you know, a hard hat, a pair of uh, steel toe caps. High vis jackets, um, drinking cups of tea, hanging over scaffolding. I think it's very much seen as a muddy boots, hard hat. Usually follow what their parents think, so they will instantly think of being on site. Being a bricklayer tends to be the key one that most think of. The misconceptions about construction are not only with young people, they're also with the, the teachers, the educators and the parents. They think we're all brickish joiners, plasterers, they think we just turn up at site and start digging. They have no concept of that we might have been 18 months in the planning of all of this. We want to be educating parents, teachers and careers advisors about the wealth of careers that are available. If you're more creative, um, that might be um, working on the proposals team in terms of graphics, in terms of scripting documents, architecture and design. And if people are maybe a little bit more kind of mathematics orientated, there are roles such as um, quantity surveying, estimating, you've got engineering and project management and programming. There's, there's such a breadth of roles available. Construction is probably one of the few industries which really can make a difference to towns, cities, environments, communities in which it works. Not only is a building being built which can transform a community but it can also transform people's lives. It really does provide young people with an opportunity to be proud being you know able to drive past a building and say to their friends, mum, dad, brother, sister, I helped build that. Being a woman in construction, I've never found it a problem. Yes, it's predominantly seen as a male-dominated industry. However, go and have a go. If you get an opportunity of a work experience or to have a site visit, I'd say grab that with both hands. You know, the, there are roles for the more creative type, there are roles for people who are more logical or analytical. In the current era, uh, people are becoming, I think, a little bit more wary about going to university because of the levels of debt. In a number of instances, an equivalent qualification by doing uh, an apprentice degree, so you're getting um, the, the, the beauty of the practical experience and the academics. If we can demonstrate to them and show them all these different job roles and show them what sort of salaries can be earned in that industry and different routes into our industry as well, you know, through apprenticeships. It's about making them realise that, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. One of the biggest things that surprised me today um, was the, the, the age of some of the people. I think there was a lady there who was overseeing all of the design um, in her mid-twenties, which was really great, you know, really good to see and really powerful, which, I, again, I can take back to uh, my school and just relay that information to them. We need to be like pointing students in the direction of the construction industry but not stereotypically the students we have in the past. We have pupils that aspire to be doctors and lawyers and accountants because they're seen as being the, the professions um, but I think we need to step up a bit more to the times and start promoting these the, the construction industry as it's equally as professional. The salaries are competitive, you can have an impact on your local area and make a good living out of it too.